Welcome to this tutorial on impulse response diagrams. An impulse response diagram shows the pattern of reflections or echoes in a room when a short, sharp sound is produced. If the room is large enough, we may be able to perceive individually distinct reflections, which are commonly called echoes. When the room is small, the pattern of echoes or reflections is complex and so close together that we cannot perceive them individually. We call this effect reverberation or reverb. Even in a large room where we can initially hear individual echoes, the sound will evolve into reverberation as the pattern of reflections becomes increasingly complex. Therefore, impulse response diagrams show us the mix and timings of echoes and reverb in a space. The impulse response diagram has two axes, amplitude and time. Within this axis, five properties are shown. One, the direct sound which reaches our ears directly from the source without first being reflected. Secondly, a so-called pre-delay time gap between the direct sound and the first reflections. Thirdly, the first reflections or echoes, so-called early reflections, which reach our ears after the direct sound. Four, the reverberation region in which the reflections become complex as sound reflects off multiple surfaces multiple times. And finally, the decay of the reverberation as the sound energy is absorbed by surfaces. In a small room, the pre-delay may be inaudible and the early reflections become part of the reverberation. In this case, the reverberation is perceived as an extension or part of the sound. The impulse response diagram is commonly used in reverberation plug-in interfaces to help us visualise and edit reverb parameters. The script for this tutorial can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com and finally don't forget to subscribe at our website or Facebook or Twitter channel in order to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and member only extras. Thanks very much for watching.